today we will be drawing snowflake catching self-portraits. A self-portrait is a picture of yourself and you're going to draw yourself catching snowflakes on your tongue. So I started by drawing a big body, you know, with your winter coat on and then a half circle for my head on top of my body and I just divided those with a nice scarf. I've got kind of a wavy rectangle coming off, some fringe, and I'm gonna add a hat on top. You don't have to if you don't want to, and a little pom-pom. And then there are big mouth catching snowflakes. So it looks kind of like a watermelon shape. Now you can only see a little bit of your nose maybe, but no eyes because your head's tilted back to catch the snowflakes. I'm adding some hair coming out from under my hat and some buttons. You can add more details if you'd like. If you want to add mittens hanging out, that's fine too. Then you're going to color in your person with your crayons. So we're using crayons because we're going to paint the background with watercolors later. And since crayons are waxy, the surface of them, the watercolors will just roll right off that waxy surface when you put the watercolors on top. So you want to press down hard with your crayons so that when you do paint on top, the watercolors will roll right off and resist that crayon. And you can add details, patterns to your jackets if you would like. You can make it as uh, detailed as you would like. Find a nice peach color for my skin. Some brown on my hair. Remember, you're drawing a picture of yourself, so Try and think about what you look like. What color is your hair? What color is your skin? Now for your jacket, you can make it stripe, polka dot, zigzags, a Patriots jacket, however you'd like. Now I'm starting with kind of a light layer of crayon, but I think I should go back over that and make it a little darker, like we talked about, because the harder you press down, the better it will resist the watercolor. All right, and then I'm just gonna make my hair a little bit darker as well. So my watercolor doesn't go on top of it. All right, now we're gonna add the snowflakes in the sky and we're gonna use a white crayon to do that. You want to press down hard with your white crayon so that when your watercolors go on top, they resist it. And it's kind of cool because they look, you can hardly even see them right now. They don't even look like they're there but when you put the watercolors on top, they'll appear like magic. I had some regular traditional snowflakes and maybe some curly cues. You could have some wind blowing. You could have some snowballs flowing through the air. However you want to draw your snow is fine. Maybe it's a snowstorm. Maybe it's a snowball fight. You could even add some stars, up to you. Okay, when you add all of your snowflakes in, you're gonna get your watercolors. And these are watercolors, so make sure that you get some water too. And you're gonna have to wet your colors before you start. You shouldn't scrub them, they should spread nice and easily. And then you're just gonna paint over your background with your sky colors. And you can see how the snowflakes are starting to pop out, it's really fun. So I'm using some blues and purples and even some blacks, because maybe it's a nighttime sky. It's up to you what colors you use. And just take your time and if you can't see your snowflakes too well, make sure you add some more water to your brush and spread out that paint a little bit more. I love watching the snowflakes come out of the sky, it's really fun. Now look, I'm going over the hair and you can't even see the watercolor over it because the wax is resisting the watercolor. And it's just rolling right off. And then cover that whole background. There are no white spots in the sky, except for snow. 
and when you're done you can put it on the drying rack.